Welcome again in the S Pro Advanced Video Tutorials. In this video, we will explain how to create a skeleton for a family. Then we will uh, explain how to use this skeleton to create generic model element, and then how to create a structural column. So to do that, uh, we have to open a new family template let us start with the generic uh, model family to create the skeleton of the family we have to create or draw reference planes so we draw this first reference plane and we can make mirror for the second one and same idea in the other direction we can use now pick reference plane or pick line let the distance to be 1000 millimeter and then we have to put the dimensions we have to make them equidistant for both directions after putting these dimensions we select one of them and we assign a parameter we can use instance or type parameter we can decide which one you want to use let it be a and you assign another parameter for the second one and we will name it b then we can go to test this family from this palette we can change the parameter and then press apply and now we will add some lines and we will make a smart family we will draw these lines on the skeleton we will draw a rectangle then we have to lock all these lines with the skeleton or with the reference planes if we go to test it again we will see that these lines will follow uh, the parameters we have to make these dimensions equidistant so then we will test it let it be for example 1500 you can see that the lines will follow the reference planes now I will draw a circle there is a trick here uh, to draw a circle and to align it with the skeleton we have to select it and switch on the center from the properties palette then we can align this circle with the center of this family and lock select the circle or go and draw a diameter then we can select this diameter and we can assign a parameter let it be for example C and OK let us test it then apply so it's working now what I want to do I will put a formula in this family let the C is equal to A and apply so when we modify the value of A the value of C will be modified accordingly and we can change B also so now I will put a formula in a way to let the circle will be always inside the rectangle so to do that I will put here a condition I will put F a is less than B let the value of C to be A then if not let it be B and apply so if we modify A and B in a certain way the circle will remain inside the rectangle let us test it with many values by changing A and B 
simultaneously in all the cases the circle will remain in the rectangle now let us go and delete these lines and instead of the lines we will create an extrusion we create this rectangle and lock and finish if we go to 3d view we will see the extrusion the rectangular extrusion if we go to the front view we can control the top and the bottom of this extrusion let us draw uh, the reference plane as a skeleton then we put a dimension on this reference plane and let us assign a parameter let it be D and it will be instance parameter and then we align and lock the top and bottom of the extrusion if we go now to the 3d view it is important to test the family before loading it to, to the project for this reason we, we go to the parameters and we can modify the values and we apply to see the modification and to see that these parameters are working all the parameters must be tested before loading into project and now to add the material parameter we can select the extrusion and then in the properties palette we can assign a new parameter called material and it may be instance parameter and ok and the most important thing before loading this family to the project is to create types for this family to be ready to be selected later so we go to uh, the family types palette and we create a new uh, types the name of these types must be significant to know what are the dimensions used inside the family so we have to be accurate about that maybe you can create one or two or three uh, types not more than that now let us open a new project let us use the metric template then we go back to our family we need to know that we can adjust the category of this family but for our example it's a generic model family then we press on load into project and we can place this family let us move it a little bit and let us make it shaded now this family is ready to use we can select it we can go to edit type and duplicate to create a new type by changing for example the name to match the parameters that we need then we press ok then we change these parameters the a and b parameters to be for example 3000 and 3 and 2000 then ok and that's it this is a new type we can modify the d but we see that the D is an instance parameter maybe we want it to be a type parameter we can go back to the family itself and go to the parameters and edit this parameter to be type parameter it's very easy to be modified then we can load it again and overwrite to the project so when we select it you can find that the third parameter which is D is a type parameter now we can change it as we like and in this way from the type selector you can select the type uh, that you want to use now we will go to create a new family which is a structural column family we have to go to the family templates to use the structural column template as you see you will find that the skeleton of this family is ready all what you need is to go to create the extrusion and lock then finish and similar to the previous family we have to go to the front elevation and we can align the top and bottom of this extrusion 
with the existing levels and lock we can make the 3d view as shaded we can modify if we need the names of these parameters by going to the family types just by editing these parameters we can make for example the first one to be a and the second one to be big B capital letter B okay and okay in order to have a material type we can select the material and we can assign the existing structural material and now we can create new types as we did in the previous family let the name to be for example C 400 by 600 and you can modify the parameters to match the name let us create a new type to have several types in the same family let us name it to be C 800 by 500 and okay then we can adjust the parameters to be 800 and 500 millimeters and apply then we can load it to our project and we can place this column I have for you an advice it's better to save this family but we didn't do that for now it's okay just place the column select it and you can modify its type from the type selector so the advanced thing in uh, the column or the structural column is that the top of the element is attached to the top level so when we modify the level it will be modified automatically so we can assign the structural material also let it be for example I don't know I will make it wood just to show you how to change it for sure you can select concrete do not miss our advanced videos subscribe to our channel and share it with all your friends to give them the chance to enhance their experience.